directors of a company nature and duties of directors director appointed to the board of a company board of directors collective body of the directors of a company managing director director by virtue of articles agreement or a board resolution or a resolution general meeting is entrusted with the substantial powers of management of the company and includes a director occupying the position of managing director whole time director includes a director in the whole time employment of the company specific duties under section 166 a director to act in a accordance with the articles for the benefit of its members act in good faith protect interests of company employees shareholders community and the environment exercise duties with care skill diligence and exercise independent judgment not involved in conflict of interests not achieve any undue gain or advantage and not assign his office type and appointment of directors every company shall have a board of directors consisting individuals as directors minimum number of 3 directors in case of a public company 2 directors in case of a private company and one director in case of a one person company maximum of directors can be 15 a company may appoint more than 15 directors after passing a special resolution such class or class of companies as may be prescribed shall have at least one woman director every company shall have at least one director who stays in india for a minimum of 182 days during the financial year every listed company shall have at least one third of the total number of directors as independent directors any fraction shall be rounded off as one where articles are silent subscribers to the memorandum deemed to be the first directors of the company every director be appointed by the company in general meeting every person proposed as director shall furnish his director identification number and a declaration that he is not disqualified and shall also give his consent and such consent filed within 30 days of his appointment at every annual general meeting not less than 2/3 of the total directors are liable to retire by rotation and be appointed by the company in general meeting the total number of directors shall not include independent directors the first directors retire at the first annual general meeting at every subsequent agm one third of directors as are liable to retire by rotation shall retire the directors to retire are those longest in office between persons who became directors on the same day based on agreement among themselves or by lot at an agm a director retires the company fills up the vacancy appointing the retiring or some other person if the vacancy is not so filled up and the meeting not expressly resolved not to fill the vacancy the meeting shall stand adjourned till the same day in the next week if at the adjourned meeting it is not filled up and the meeting not expressly resolved not to fill the vacancy the retiring director is deemed reappointed unless resolution for reappointment was lost or the retiring director expressed his unwillingness to be so reappointed or he is not qualified or is disqualified for appointment or a resolution whether special or ordinary is required for his reappointment by virtue of the act board has the power to appoint an additional director if empowered by articles and the additional director shall hold office up to the next annual general meeting board can also appoint an alternate director if authorized by articles or by a resolution of general meeting and such alternate director shall act for a director during his absence for a period not less than 3 months from india and he shall vacate when the director returns to india to be appointed as an alternate for an independent director one needs to be possessing qualifications of an independent director company's board is also authorized to appoint a nominee director from any institution or government and if the office of any director appointed in a general meeting is vacated before his term such a casual vacancy can be filled by the board of directors but such appointment shall be subsequently approved by the members in a general meeting and any person so appointed shall hold office only up to the residual term of the director in whose place he is appointed minimum two independent directors are required to be held by a public company having a paid up capital of rupees 10 crore or more or a public company having turnover of 100 crore rupees or more or a public company which in aggregate has outstanding loans debentures and deposits exceeding rupees 50 crores any intermittent vacancy of an independent director shall be filled up by the board at the immediate next board meeting or 3 months from the date of such vacancy whichever is later the position of independent director is unique in that he is not a managing director nor a whole time director nor a nominee director he is a person of integrity possessing relevant experience and expertise in disciplines related to company's business he is not a promoter nor related to promoters or directors has no pecuniary relationship other than remuneration neither himself or relatives hold position of a key manager 
managerial personnel of the company and none of his relatives is holding any security of or interest in the company nor is he or they indebted to the company an independent director is not attracting provisions on retirement by rotation he is not entitled to any stock option but may receive remuneration by way of fee and his office is up to 5 consecutive years but eligible for reappointment on passing a special resolution he can hold office for not more than 2 consecutive terms and any change affecting his status as an independent director is required to give declaration confirming on the criteria of independence every listed company is required to have at least one woman director every other public company having a paid up share capital of rupees 100 crore or more or turnover of 300 crore or more shall appoint at least one woman director any intermittent vacancy of a woman director to be filled up by the board at the immediate next board meeting or 3 months from the date of such vacancy whichever is later a listed company can opt for appointment of a small shareholders suo motu considered as an independent director it can also have a small shareholder director elected by the small shareholders upon notice of not less than 1000 small shareholders or 1/10th of the total number of such shareholders whichever is lower not liable to retire by rotation tenure not to exceed 3 years on the expiry of first term not eligible for reappointment not to hold the position in more than two companies at the same time as a small shareholder director the second company shall not be in a business competing with the company directorships including alternate directorships not to exceed 20 at the same time maximum number of public companies shall not exceed 10 and members by special resolution are at liberty to specify lower number of companies in which a director of the company may act as a director disqualification specified under section 164 unsound mind declared by competent court undischarged insolvent or applied to be adjudicated insolvent application is pending convicted by a court and sentenced to imprisonment not less than 6 months order disqualifying passed by a court and the order is in force and he has not paid any calls and 6 months have lapsed from the last day fixed for payment of call or convicted of offence related to related party transactions during the preceding 5 years a director is not eligible to be appointed or reappointed for offence committed by the company where the company has not filed financial statements or annual returns for a continuous period of 3 financial years or has failed to repay deposits debentures or interest thereon or pay dividend declared and failure continues for one year or more and in respect of a private company articles can provide for any additional disqualifications for appointment as a director vacation of office results from section 167 where a director incurs disqualification specified in section 164 absence all meetings during 12 months or contravenes section 184 relating to entering into contract in which he is interested or he is disqualified by an order of a court or a tribunal or he is convicted of an offence and sentenced to imprisonment for not less than 6 months. Vacation of office also results when he is removed in pursuance of the provisions of this act or having been appointed by virtue of his holding any office or other employment he ceases to hold such office or other employment in the company. A private company may by its articles provide any additional grounds where all directors vacate their offices under any disqualification the promoter or the central government shall appoint the required directors to hold office till directors are appointed by the company in the general meeting a director may resign by giving a written notice to the company and the board shall take note of it make the necessary filings with the registrar of companies the fact of resignation will be incorporated in the report of directors to be presented in the immediately following general meeting resignation takes effect from the date received by the company or the date mentioned in the resignation director is also eligible to forward a copy of his resignation to registrar within 30 days pursuant to section 169 a director may be removed by ordinary resolution after giving opportunity of being heard a special notice is required to remove a director or appoint somebody at the meeting he is removed the provision will not apply in respect of uh, directors appointed by principle of proportionate representation on receipt of notice to remove the director the company copies the director and he shall be entitled to be heard at the meeting where the director makes a representation and requests notification to members the company shall do so if copy is not sent the director may besides his right to be heard orally require his representation to be read out at the meeting if the company approaches tribunal stating circulation is being used for getting undue publicity and tribunal accepts company's view representation need not be sent nor it be read out at the meeting vacancy created by removal 
removal may be filled up by appointing another person provided special notice has been given else it can be filled up as a casual vacancy the new incumbent will hold office till the residual tenure of his predecessor section 173 deals with meetings of board states first meeting of the board to be held within 30 days of incorporation there afterwards four meetings to be held every year gap between two board meetings should not be more than 120 days participation of directors in a board meeting may be either in person or through video conferencing or other audio visual means with recording and storing of proceedings of such meetings done along with date and time a meeting of the board can be called by giving a clear notice of 7 days in writing sent by hand delivery or by post or by electronic means meeting may be called at a shorter notice provided at least one independent director shall be present at the meeting in case of absence of independent directors from such meeting of the the board decisions of such meeting shall be circulated to all directors and they shall be final only on ratification thereof by at least one independent director if any quorum in respect of a meeting of a board of directors shall be one third of its total strength or two directors whichever is higher participation by video conferencing or by audio visual means is included for purposes of quorum where at any time the number of interested directors exceeds or is equal to two thirds of the total strength directors who are Are not interested and present at the meeting being not less than 2 shall be the quorum where a meeting of the board could not be held for want of quorum the meeting shall be adjourned to the same day same time and place next week or if that day is a national holiday till the next succeeding day passing of resolution by circulation under section 175 resolution is circulated in draft to all directors or members of committee at their addresses in india by hand delivery post courier or through electronic means it is approved by majority of the directors or members who are entitled to vote on the resolution it is noted at a subsequent meeting of board or committee thereof and made part of the minutes of such committee where not less than 1/3 of directors require the resolution must be decided at a meeting the chairperson shall take it to be decided at a meeting of the board a company may pay sitting fee to a director for attending meetings of the board or committees thereof such sum as may be decided by the board of directors it shall not exceed rupees 1 lakh a per meeting of the board or committee thereof sitting fee will be on par with each other between directors be it independent director or woman director the board of a listed company shall constitute an audit committee comprising of a minimum of 3 directors with independent directors forming a majority looking into remuneration in terms of appointment of auditors review and independence of uh, audit process examination of financials approval of transactions with related parties scrutiny of intercorporate loans and investments valuation of undertakings or assets of the company evaluation of internal controls and risk management systems and monitoring and use of funds raised through public offers audit committee shall have authority to investigate any matter in relation to the items referred to it by the board an audit committee can make an omnibus approval for related party transactions subject to conditions where audit committee does not approve the transaction it shall make its recommendations to the board the auditors and the key managerial person personnel shall have the right to be heard in meetings of the audit committee where board not accepted recommendation of the committee it shall disclose it in the report along with the, its reasons the board report under section 134 shall disclose the composition of an audit committee every listed company shall establish a vigil mechanism for directors and employees to report genuine concerns a nomination and remuneration committee pursuant to section 178 can be formed by the board of directors of every listed company consist of three or more non executive directors out of which not less than one half shall be independent directors it shall identify persons who are qualified to become directors and who may be appointed in senior management the committee shall specify the manner for effective evaluation of performance of board its committees and individual directors it may recommend to board a policy on the remuneration for directors key managerial personnel and other employees salient features of the policy along with web address if any shall be disclosed in the board's report the board board of directors has wide powers to exercise all such powers and to do all such acts as the company is authorized to do subject to provisions contained in articles act memorandum or regulations made by the company in general meeting the board shall not exercise any power which is required to be
exercised by the company in general meeting board has wide powers to exercise in its meetings by means of resolution to make calls to authorize buyback to issue securities to borrow monies to invest funds to grant loans or give guarantees to approve financial statement and board's report to diversify business to approve amalgamation merger or reconstruction and to take over or acquire substantial stake in another company of its powers the board by a resolution may delegate to md manager or a committee of directors or any other principal officer three powers to borrow monies to invest the funds of the company and to grant loans or give guarantees subject to limits to be specified there are four specific powers which the board can exercise only subject to the consent of the company by a special resolution to sell lease or otherwise dispose of the whole or substantially the whole of the undertaking of the company undertaking wherein investment exceeds 20% of its net worth or it generates 20% of its income to invest otherwise than interest securities compensation received from any merger or amalgamation to borrow money where borrowings exceed aggregate of its paid up share capital free reserves and securities premium and to remit or give time for repayment of any debt due from a director a non government company in existence for not less than 3 financial years may contribute any amount to any political party such contribution can be made directly or indirectly shall be authorized by a resolution passed at the meeting of board of directors every company in its profit and loss account shall disclose the total amount contributed during the financial year it shall be made by an account pay check bank draft or by use of electronic clearing system through a bank account expenditure on advertisement in any publication where such publication is by or on behalf of a political party or for advantage of a political party shall be deemed to be a contribution for a political purpose disclosure under section 184 every director at the first meeting of the board in which he participates as a director and thereafter at the first meeting of the board in every financial year or whenever there is any change in the disclosures already made then at the first board meeting held after such change disclose his concern or interest in any company companies or bodies corporate firms or other association of individuals where he holds more than 2% shareholding or is a promoter manager ceo of that body corporate or with a firm or other entity where he is a partner owner or member where any director is interested or concerned subsequently if he becomes concerned or interested after the contract or arrangement is entered into he shall disclose his concern or interest forthwith when he becomes concerned or interested or at the first meeting of the board held after he becomes so concerned or interested he shall disclose at the meeting in which the contract or arrangement is discussed and shall not participate in such meeting a contract entered into without disclosure or with participation is voidable at the option of the company no company shall advance any loan or give any guarantee or provide any security for any loan taken by a director of the company or of a company which is its holding company or any partner or relative of any any such director or any firm in which such director or relative is a partner with the exception where a special resolution is passed by the company in general meeting and the loans are utilized by the borrowing entity for its principal business activities the restrictions under section 85 on loans to directors is not applicable in three specific cases one for giving of any loan to a managing or whole time director as a part of conditions of service as per a scheme approved by the members by a special resolution or a company which in the ordinary course of its business provides loans or gives guarantees or security or any loan made by or guarantee given by a holding company to its wholly owned subsidiary for utilization by the subsidiary company for its principal business activities no company shall enter into related party transactions except when the board gives its consent the transactions may relate to sale purchase or supply of any goods or materials or selling or buying of property of any kind it may also be be a proposal of leasing property or availing or rendering of any services the contract might also cover appointment of agent for purchase or sale of goods or property or related parties appointment to office or place of profit along with an underwriting contract for subscription to the securities of the company where the transaction value is beyond
beyond specified limits during a financial year, it is required to get prior approval of company by resolution in a meeting. No restrictions shall apply to company transactions in its ordinary course of business unless it is not on an arm's length basis. No board member shall vote on a resolution if such member is a related party. Passing the resolution not applicable for transactions between a holding company and its wholly owned subsidiary. Every contract shall be referred to in the board's report to the shareholders along with justification. Contracts entered into by a director or employee without approval from board or by a resolution in the general meeting if not ratified at a meeting within three months shall be voidable at the option of the board or shareholders and the director's consent shall indemnify the company against any loss incurred therefrom. Guidelines in respect of appointment of managing director, manager or whole time director. No coexistence of managing director and a manager. Term not to exceed five years at a time. Not to employ one who is below 21 years or attained 70 years. Beyond 70 permitted by passing a special resolution. Who is an undischarged insolvent or has at any time been adjudged so or has suspended payment to his creditors or made a composition or at any time convicted and sentenced for more than six months. Section 197 Ceiling on managerial remuneration. A public company shall not exceed 11% of net profits under Section 198. Company in general meeting may authorize exceeding 11% subject to provisions of Schedule 5 except with the approval of the company by special resolution. The remuneration shall not exceed 5% of net profits to any one of managing director, full time director or manager. If more than one, not to exceed 10% to all such directors and managers taken together. Remuneration to directors not to exceed 1% of net profits if there is an MD or WTD or manager, 3% otherwise. Progress review on directors. On minimum directors, the board for a private company will have two directors and for a public company, minimum directors is three. Maximum is 15 for both private and public. But a company can increase the number beyond 15 by passing a special resolution in the meeting of shareholders. Of the directors, only one third can be permanent in the sense balance has to be retiring and reappointable. Within 30 days of appointment of a director, his consent has to be filed by the company with the ROC. A return containing appointment of directors and other key managerial personnel and changes therein shall be filed with the registrar within 30 days of appointment or change. Director identification number has got the acronym DIN. At every annual general meeting, after the first AGM of the rotational directors, one third or nearest to one third are liable to retire by rotation. Additional directors appointed by the board continue only up to the next annual general meeting. A director may resign by giving return notice to the company. If a director becomes absent from all the meetings held during a period of 12 consecutive months, his seat will become vacant. This is irrespective of whether his absence was with or without leave of absence of the board. A company cannot remove a director if that director was appointed by the tribunal. There should be minimum four board meetings in a span of 12 months or one year and between two board meetings the gap should not be more than 120 days. Where a public company has a paid up capital of rupees 10 crore or more or its turnover is 100 crore or more or it has got outstanding loans or debentures and deposits exceeding 50 crore. If any one of these conditions are fulfilled, it is compulsory for a company to have an independent director. An independent director doesn't have any material pecuniary relationships with the company, its promoters, directors or its holding company, subsidiaries or associates. The term of an independent director will be up to five consecutive years and his subsequent reappointment has to be with the support of a special resolution. All reappointments require a special resolution and normally shareholders approve the appointment of independent directors in their meet. There is a concept called small shareholder director. He can be appointed for a maximum period of three years and it is only a one-time appointment. There cannot be any reappointment in case of small shareholder directors. Small shareholder means a shareholder who has got value of shares with him, not more than 
rupees 20000 in face value to elect a director small shareholders need the support of 1000 shareholders or 10% of the total number of small shareholders a woman director is required to be appointed by a company minimum one number where the paid up capital is 100 crores or more or turnover is 300 crores or more on the last date of the latest audited financial statement whole time director is a director in the whole time employment of the company a managing director and a whole time director should meet the minimum age requirement of 21 years 70 years is the maximum age for a managing director but shareholders can give approval for the appointment once a person crosses 70 years for his continuation or appointment as a managing director whole time director or manager esop treats a director as an employee the director may be whole time director or not but esop doesn't apply to independent director because he is not treated as an employee a sitting fee of not exceeding rupees 1 lakh could be paid per meeting of the board or per meeting of the committee of the board the managerial remuneration of a public company can have a remuneration not exceeding 11% of the net profits of the company and the managerial remuneration is inclusive of remuneration to managing director and full time director in the years of of nil profit or inadequate profits it is not obligatory for a company to pay remuneration to its directors in any financial year a listed company shall constitute an audit committee comprising minimum 3 directors nomination committee assists the board in identifying prospective directors from among the members or employees or the team members of the company a director who was removed from office cannot be reappointed by the board of directors in whatever capacity be it a casual vacancy or additional director